Hey everypony Bunny Axe here from Brotoff Productions and welcome to Bats. Yeah, that's right, that's what the name of the episode is. I'm doing a reaction to MLP FIM Season 4, Episode 7, Bats! You know, like, to the Batmobile cave thing, whatever. I don't know what this is going to be about, I have no idea. Um, I can't theorise what on earth this is going to be like, but uh, hopefully it'll be a good episode. I've heard it's a good one. Um, anyways, let's just get on with it in uh, three... Two, one, and go. All right. No, I. Like a donut, I missed the play button. Let's try that again, shall we? Three, two, one. Not a donut. All right, there we go. Yes, yes, I'm a donut. All right, what's going on? What's going on? We're in the apple. Where? Apple acres. Any minute now. Hey, it's Apple Jake. Any minute now. Okay. <laughs> Damn. It's officially Apple Booking Day. It is. I like how. Daytime it got. Perfect for bucking. For bucking. <laughs> That's a sexual reference. All those apples, though. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh, those poor apples, though. What the heck is going on? Bats. <laughs> I'm calling it now. Back. They're back. Ah. All right. Oh, the bell. Ah. I remember that. Oh. Okay. A code red. And claws on deck. Hooves and claws. Calm down. How can I calm down at a time like this? Fair yeah. Fire fruit bats are attacking sweet apple acres. Fruit bats. But I thought the fruit bats usually stayed put in the West Orchard. The fruit bats do. But these aren't. Is that a natural thing? Ordinary fruit, fruit bats. They're vampire fruit bats. They want to suck oh, your apple blood. They think they're gonna sink their fangs into my blue ribbon apple. Jesus, that's a huge Whoa. apple. Awesome. That tree is like falling over. State Fair's produce competition. You know how much TLC goes into getting an apple to grow like this? I have no idea. When you go big, you really go big. Oh, Jesus. Vampire bats want to shrivel it up like a raisin. A raisin? I'm sure if we just let them know how special that particular apple is to you, they'll leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. sure. Be my guest. Yeah, you could try that, Flush, flush right? You're good with animals. This look pretty evil looking. Um, excuse me, Mr. Vampire Bat. We were <laughs> just wondering if maybe... You wouldn't mind leaving that really big apple alone? Yeah. <laughs> well, what would he say? Um, yes. Huh? He did? It could have been a no. Uh, uh yeah. This is the first vampire fruit bat I've ever met, and, well, it might take some time for me to really understand their language. God damn it. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, this pest and his vermin friends are gonna go after my prized apple. And Indeed. And while they're at it, every other apple in the orchard. These vampire bats are nothing but a bunch of monsters. Monsters? They're evil monsters. Harsh, don't you think? Not really. No, I do not. They are pretty. Oh, a song! Ooh, immediately, I love it. That's pretty early on. Those vampire bats will give you a fright. This is pretty cool. Day and night. They rest for a minute, maybe three. Then they're eating every apple in your apple ah, tree. This is a damn good song. I love the song already from the start. It's a brilliant song. Care about nada, not zilch, no nothing, except bringing about an orchard. This is this is a really good song. Now wait just a minute, there's another side to this, and if I did not defend them, then I would be remiss. These bats are mamas and papas too. <laughs> yeah, they don't look they like that. Like That's if they did look like that, then you know. Oh, give me a break, you're being too kind. These creatures have a one track mind. The orchard is this has got a really good beat to it. But do they ever think <laughs> what others may want? No, they, they don't. I knew you were going to say that. Just a fact. These bats, they simply don't know how to act. I can't tell you how much I love this song. <laughs> Coming, you better run and hide. Better run and hide. <laughs> and ugly and mean as sin. Will you look at the state? My trees. Yeah, they don't even look like trees anymore. Help your trees, they'll grow stronger, faster. They've turned my life to a total disaster. 
This is a great song. I love this. Hey, Rarity singing. Which I for one don't have a doubt. Yeah. Stop the bats, stop the bats, make them go and not come back. Stop the bats, stop the bats, make them go and not come back. Stop the oh. Comes down to just one simple fact. They cross the line, it's time that we attack. That was an amazing song. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I believe Applejack has made I think I'm gonna do a parody of it. Or not a parody. Uh, a cover. So let's get to rounding them up so that they don't destroy the rest of my orchard. Fruit bat roundup, fruit bat roundup! Um, <laughs> fruit bat know, roundup. Um, nice. What if instead of rounding them up, we let them have part Solid of the Solid reference. Fruit Can bat roundup. Can you your pest loving mind? They're only here because they're hungry. If we build Nom. a sanctuary for them, they could have their own apples to enjoy. After a while, they could even huh. help the rest of your orchard. The vampire I doubt it. don't eat the seeds of the apples, and when they spit them out, they grow into even more productive apple trees. I guess that makes sense. That sounds real nice and all, but every second we spend building this so-called sanctuary is a second they'll spend destroying orchard. You don't know what it was like the last time there was an infestation, but Granny Smith has told me enough stories about it that just the thought of it gives me nightmares. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Granny says we Good old a huge uh, Granny Smith days. They had to ration out apples all winter. What about the cider? There was still cider, right? <laughs> Not a drop. <gasps> no cider? No, no cider. cider. We need to round up Rainbow can't so stand for that. If Granny Smith wasn't with Apple Bloom and Big Mac checking out our produce competition in Appaloosa, she'd be here telling us to do just that. I'm sorry, Fluttershy, but I think Applejack is right. I just wish there was another way we could convince them not to eat them in the first place. Your kindness can't help them this time. Maybe there is. Okay. So there's good news and bad news. There the is. Good news is that I found a spell that can get the vampire fruit bats to stop wanting to suck the juice from the apples. Oh, but how convenient. Spell to work. I need the bats' full and complete attention. Oh, okay. There's your downside. Oh no, Fluttershy. I need you to do your stare on the bats. Oh. Oh gosh. How much do you want to bet it doesn't work on bats? You've used the stare plenty of times before. Yes, but it's not something I take lightly. I've made a vow not to use it except in dire circumstances. <laughs> this circumstance is plenty dire to me. Me too. You get the cider. Pick up the cider. <laughs> oh, somebody pick up the cider. Pick up the cider. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't. I love Rainbow. Idea of taking away the thing that really makes the vampire fruit bad. Huh. You know, you make a good point, but they're still assholes. Doesn't that feel wrong too? Yes. Hmm. It's a bit of a predicament, so yes. What's it gonna be, Fluttershy? Will you do your stare on the bats or not? Um. Um. You're the stare master. Okay, I'll do it. It's not going to work on them, I guarantee. I wouldn't side with those icky bats. <laughs> bats are the way... It wouldn't work on them because bats are supposed to be blind, are they not? Aha! Bats are blind, therefore, stare will not work. Time is wasting, but you can't... It's not going to work because bats are blind! They have good ears! I mean, sure, they have red eyes and they, they open, but I'm pretty sure they're blind. Unless they're not, unless fruit bats aren't blind, or they're not blind in the series, or whatever it is, but in real life, bats are supposed to be blind, if I'm not correct, if I'm not too much mistaken. <laughs> oh, look at that one, he's like the elder bat. He was like Count Dracula. Okay, that worked. Good work, everypony. You just gave them the apples. Now all we need is for you to do your stare. Um, stare. Are you sure I really need? 
Do it. Just do it. Okay. Make your dreams come true. I really, really, really hate to do this to you. I just hope you can forgive me. It's not gonna work, I tell you. It won't work. Or maybe it will. Surprisingly, it's working. God damn it, there goes my theory. Now you go, Twilight. Alright. Use your spell. Wingardium Heliviosa. And? Well, did it work? You can stop staring, Fluttershy. Yeah, you can stop staring. Did it work? Only one way to find out for sure. Give him an apple. This is like, this is like a, a Wallace and Gromit reference, I guarantee it. It is! This is a Wallace and Gromit reference. The Curse of the Were Rabbit when uh, Wallace does that makes that machine and the bunnies don't like vegetables anymore. Don't mention it, Applejack. It was my pleasure. You didn't do anything, Spike. Were you even here? Sweep up these cores so I can start bucking fresh tomorrow morning. I swear he just got that. Hmm. Apple bucking day, take two. And <laughs> that reused now scene though. Those juicy sweet apples. <laughs> and it didn't work. The spell didn't well, work. It You're worked. The spell didn't work. I think we're gonna have hmm. to take more extreme measures. I hear you, Applejack. I'm gonna on, I've already got a theory. Flashy looked at that apple like like she really wanted it. And, uh, I, I, I have a theory that now she herself likes apples, so now she's going to eat all the apples. Also, that's kind of funny. I think these bats are the ones that suck my apples. Yeah, it was Fluttershy. But the vampire bats aren't eating your apples. Who is? Fluttershy. Fluttershy, you're our animal expert. Do you know of any other creature that might be capable of this? I'm sorry, I don't. Well, there's only one way and to she find probably apples. doesn't know she's we'll doing it. This is just like... Curse of the Were Rabbit all over again. A stakeout. It is. This is this is Curse of the Were Rabbit. This is the biggest reference I've ever seen. It's Wait almost exact. Uh, well, unless I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Flash Eye. It just it's just too cliche you. not to be. I'm not sure about the rest of you guys, but I'm really hungry. Yep, that's confirmed it immediately. <laughs> it's Fluttershy. Oh, Fluttershy. Don't forget, darling, we're all in this together. That's right. No pony leaves this orchard until we solve this mystery. Agreed? Agreed! Agreed? Does every pony have their pony signal? Pony signal? <laughs> okay, now that's a Batman reference. Now remember, so we've got a Batman reference and a Wallace and Gromit reference. My god. Yeah, what are you doing with that apple? You can't oh, touch it. Every pony split up. We'll each patrol our own row of the orchard. Whoever mm -hmm. or whatever's destroying my apples has got to be here somewhere. It's Fluttershy. Wait for it. I got a bad feeling about this. Shout out to Han Solo. Star Wars as well. This is the Sweet. this is the reference episode. <laughs> now she's got a fact. She, is she gonna turn into a bat as well now? That's that's even more of a reference to Curse of the Were Rabbit. She's she's turning into a bat. <laughs> she's gonna turn into a, a bat. She's a fruit pony now. Obviously, no need to worry about that shadowy figure overhead. Yeah. Maybe there is. I think I'll that just was very close that, that time. Keep your eyes peeled, uh, Rainbow Dash. Who's there? Answer me, or you'll regret it. Oh yeah. Fine. Have it your That's own. a scarecrow, I'm guessing. Crow? 
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Applejack a little bit. <laughs> Looks like Aloysius a little bit. Well, it's an owl, so. What is it? <laughs> Her face. Oh. It's... it's Fluttershy! She's a bat! Hmm. She just sucks the juice out of that apple. Her eyes are red! That's not Fluttershy! That's Flutterbat! Flutterbat! I love it, that's a good name. Flutterbat! Sweetness! And do stop being a vampire bat! <laughs> and do stop being a vampire bat, yes. Don't do it. Fluttershy, it's me, Rainbow Dash. Why don't you cut the bad act and come on down? Ha! I get it. Oh, that's wings, though. Those are cool wings. Maybe we should just let her come down when she's ready. Flutterbat! Flutterbat on the loose! Rainbow Dash! Pinkie Pie, calm down. I want to see Maybe Burning Bat. On her branch. Someone get on that she's immediately. Pinkie Pie, bats don't eat ponies. Not <laughs> even vampire bats. But maybe vampire ponies eat other ponies. I'm not taking any chances. I'd like to look at all those gems. There's That's gems I everywhere. Done. I think this was actually our fault. Our fault? And how'd you figure that? The spell rebounded. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is me. This is cool. These are the bats. She could do this that. Is Fluttershy doing her stare. The spell was supposed to go right onto the bats like this. <laughs> but somehow the spell must have backfired. It took or the bats fired. Bats Whoa! To be vampire fruit bats and transferred that desire into Fluttershy. Flutterbat. We'll reverse the spell and make it right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's see Fluttershy before the thing is Flutterbat, Flutterbat to the black and white cat. Flutterbat, Flutterbat. <laughs> Follow Flutterbat to the Flutter Cave. Uh oh, she's turning. Oh, well, she's turning into an even more bat we lost her. thing. Oh, Fluttershy, where are you? There she is. Very convincing. There's a tree. Spike, no, you useless prick. Oh, okay. She just went after the apple. Spike is not tasty. Look out! She's she's firing bullets like seeds. Seeds like bullets. Will be gone in no time. Yeah. That's the least of my worries. I just want my friend back. We'll never get her back unless I know. her and catch her so I can reverse the spell. There she is. There she is. Hey, you stole what I said. Stop goes. it. The only way we're gonna catch her is if we find a way to lure her closer to us. But even if we can lure her to us, how are we gonna get her to stay still long enough for you to do your reverse? Spell? Yeah, you need to get her attention, and no one else can do the stare. Do her stare on the flutter bat. Yeah. That's it. It is. Uh. What is that? Okay. Uh, let's get our uh, friend back. Okay. Oh, an apple. Okay. Oh yeah. Maybe that'll work. So Although... much for having the winning apple in the Appaloosa State Fair, huh? How are you gonna do the stare? <sighs> oh, the apple though. She can smell the precious juices. Oh, and there she goes. She's no. Oh, a, a mirror. Well, she's not really going to do the stare, is she? she? She has to do the stare. Although she's looking at herself, she's distracted. And maybe that counts? Okay. Oh, there goes a fang. Yay, it worked! Success! And now she's flutter shy again. Flutter sleep. Okay. But what happened 
to me. You turned into a vampire pony! I tried to eat ponies? <laughs> of course not! So I wasn't a vampire? Yes! Yes, I was? <laughs> yes, I wasn't. Yes, she was. you was! But I didn't try to eat ponies? No! I did? No! <laughs> confused. Yeah. Me too. Just stop. I was there. <laughs> Pinky is so confusing. Fluttershy, I'm real sorry I didn't take your suggestion in the first place. And don't forget, now you'll get seeds that will grow into even bigger and better apple trees. Yes, uh, just remember the song. What I think it means? Yep, more cider too. Of course, the best news of the day. Okay, got the part about the spell, Fluttershy turning into a bat, building a sanctuary. Flutter bat. Be sure to put in there that I came to see that my short-term solution was a little short-sighted. And that you shouldn't let any pony pressure you into doing something you don't think is right. Sometimes, you have to tell even your closest friends, no. Now, how about we celebrate our stronger-than-ever friendship with a nice, ripe, juicy apple? She probably doesn't even like them anymore after that spell. And I'm guessing she's- yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I was about to say, I'm guessing she's pretending. <laughs> it's Pinkie Pie! <laughs> oh, the fang, it's back! The return of Flutterbat! That was great, though. Flutterbat. I love that. Oh, uh, that's, that's fucking great. Um, yeah, that song, though, that song in the beginning was amazing. I, I, I'm totally going to sing that later. I'm going to download the song, look up the lyrics, and I'm going to make a par- well, not a parody, um, a, a, a um, a, da, ba, ba, a cover, a cover. I'm going to make a cover of that song, and I'm going to upload it. I don't know when, maybe tonight, but I don't know if I can sing it. I've got to learn the lyrics. I don't know how long that'll take. It's such a catchy song. Maybe I can do it first, but I suck at reading, so I, dyslexia stops me. And plus, I suck at singing. So if when this video eventually does come out, the thing uh, just 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 prepare yourself for a terrible singing video thing stuff. Anyway, this was a good episode. Though I did like the whole the vampire bat fruit bat thing. It was really cool. I did like that flutter bat. I like it. It's a great idea. Um, and I want to see f uh, burning bat, burning bat, or or um, <clears throat> you know, burning bat, or uh. Um, a, a, a bat axe, bat axe, battle axe. <laughs> I'm done. That's done. I'm done. Battle axe or burning bat. I'm done. Whatever. Anyways, um, stuff. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, then like the video, and I'll I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more stuff, then don't forget to show your support by bro hopping that subscribe button. Oh, and take this free muffin. It's a transmorphic muffin, which means it's awesome. Alrighty then. See you later, everypony. Bye.